welcome to my new channel. My name is Julie and this is my brand new business, Print Me Pretty. Come along for the ride as I test and decide on the products I want to offer through this new business venture. Today I will show you how to create the perfect bows I will be using for some of my gift box. Okay, let's get started. The first thing I would recommend is to use double face satin. This makes finishing the bow a little easier and you'll have less twisting and fussing at the end to get the bow in the perfect position at the end. Now here's the secret, to get the bow to sit straight it all comes down to the order you place the ribbon ends in. I'll do my best to keep my hands out of the way but I will describe exactly what I'm doing. First of all, place the ribbon around the box and tie the first knot but you must take your right hand over the top of the left. Now use your left hand to create the loop. Now take your right hand and bring the bow back over the top and poke it through like a school shoelace. Then pull tightly. Twist gently, tug and twist until you get the bow ends straight or even or to the desired length. And this is where if you weren't using double face seven satin, you could twist the underneath bow so that the shiny sign comes up. Once you're happy with the length and everything looks good, take your scissors and snip off the ends. Take a cigarette lighter to burn the ends, otherwise your satin will fray. You can see how there how quickly that piece poked itself out, so unless you seal it, your ribbons will fray off and undo all your hard work. Perfect. Let's try that again. As I said, it all comes down to the order that you do place the ribbons. Let's try the mint green this time and see if we can see it a little more clearly. Cut the desired length. Wrap the ribbon and take your right hand over the top of your left bow. That's it. Now take the left and make the loop. Now take the right hand and make sure you take it over the top and then poke through. Jiggle and twist again. Get everything straight. And then the last step again is to cut the ribbons, snip them off evenly, and then burn the ends so that the satin doesn't fray. And again, this is where you would twist if you weren't using the double face satin to get both the shiny sides together. And then one, two, three, just like that, we have beautiful, perfect bows for my gift boxes. If you'd like to follow my story and hear about all the things I try and test to get a startup business running from day one, I'd love to share with you. So please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.